So in this part of the series, we will take a look at the CI feature of GitLab. And GitLab itself, so the Docker container that we started earlier, is not the part that's actually running the builds, but instead um, GitLab uses uh, the notion of runners, which basically are just um, executors for um, the actual builds. So in this case, I created a Docker Compose file just like before, where we use the official GitLab runner Docker container. And I will point the, um, the Docker socket to it. And I will use the same the Docker machine in this case. So both the runner and the um, GitLab instance, the UI itself, are running on the same host. This is not the way um, it normally should be set up, but for the convenience case, I will just do it right here. And after the container is um, set up and running, which is the case right now, we need to call the register function on the GitLab runner binary. And this we can do via um, creating a bash into the um, in the, the Docker container itself. And we will call GitLab runner register on it. And so what we need to do right now is there's uh, some, some kind of a wizard here where it just goes through and we can you know, do stuff like um, using setting up the IP address where it should connect to the um, GitLab instance and the next thing that we need to do is to get um, uh, access token and this we can um, take from the runners section in the admin area of GitLab. This is where the registration token sits. We will just paste that in there and then we can define a name. We will just stick to the one that is um, offered to us here. And you can define tags which will not go through and you can stick a certain runner to a certain project. We will also not do that. And the type of runner is a Docker runner, which means that it will start um, the Docker, uh, the, the builds in actual Docker containers. And with that, we are ready to go. We, I can exit from the command line here. And we see that there is a running um, registered GitLab runner in the GitLab instance. And now what we can do is we go back to our repository and I will just log in here real quick. And so what we can do right now is there's a um, file, special file called GitLab CI.yaml, which will define how the build should look like. And luckily there is already there are already some templates. I will just stick to the Gradle template in this case. And um, yeah, this is a YAML configuration. And in this we have two jobs that should be executed. We will take a closer look right now, but first let's just create this file. And with this file exists, we can go to the pipeline section and see that there is already a pipeline running for us because of the latest um, push to the repository. And you might notice that there are two bullet points here. The first one is for the build step and the second one is for the test step or the test job, I should, I should say. And what you can do, you can go into the, these jobs and take a closer look at the output. Um, in this case, it will, first of all, download the dependencies that it needs to do in order to execute the stuff. And so let's have a quick look at the file. So we have two, um, two stages here. The first one is the build stage. And as we see there, there is a Gradle W command, um, which basically will assemble the, the project. And the next job is the test job, and it will 
call Gordon Wichek. So going back to the pipeline, we see that there's a lot of dependencies to be downloaded. Um, yeah, there are actually different views on the pipeline, so you can take a look at the jobs or at the pipeline itself. And then there's other stuff like um, environments and um, charts on these on these pipeline executions and stuff like that. But I will not go um, too much into detail into this right now. But instead, we will just wait for the um, for the pipeline to be finished. And yeah, you can see there is um, very nice UI, in my opinion, where you can see the different um, steps involved and then you can switch to the next stage. And there are all the different jobs in this stage. In this case, we will just call the check in this repository. There is no um, unity, so this will be a very fast run. And yeah, with that, we have the first um, running um, build pipeline.